are you looking for an internship? I will talk you through how I got my internship, what I did during my internship, and how the Royal Society of Chemistry could help you to get one too. Hi everyone, my name is Omar and I am a recent chemical engineering graduate from Aston University. I have been working for Storley Catalyst for half a year during the COVID times. How I got my job? There are three points to it. Number one, set your goal. What are you looking for? It's very important to identify what sort of sector you want to get involved with. Is it R&D, health and safety, design or coding? It can be overwhelming where to start, so narrow it down and choose the best company that you think will aid in the development of your skills to achieve your career goals. So for my case, I always wanted to get involved with process design and optimization. So I had an idea what I wanted to get involved with, which is research and development. Number two is to be interested. My interest in catalysis grew after completing an industrial placement in Munich where I worked with a PhD student. Number three is preparation. It's a crucial step in landing a job. I cannot emphasize this enough. Make sure you have a tailored CV and a cover letter when you apply for the job. You must read the requirements and the job description carefully by addressing the questions. So for my particular application, one of the tricks to test whether I read the job description properly is to upload the CV and, and the cover letter in a specific binary format. For those who didn't bother, they were rejected straight away. So after applying for Stowley, I received an interview invitation in the following week. I did some research on the company and I found out that the manager had several publications. So I want to go over the article with my catalysis lecturer for further clarification. This has helped me a lot to relate my reactor design station to Stowley reactors in the sense of improved mass and heat transfer. So on the day of the interview, I made sure I looked smart and I had the published paper with me. We talked about the reactor design and how it was related to the published paper. Everything went smoothly and I got offered the job on the day. So let me take you through the projects that I worked on. Here is our lovely lab. This is where I worked on customer projects and prepared various catalysts. The process is quite simple, yet the key is recording everything to ensure reproducibility. The catalyst performance was tested in this hydrogenation reactor. As a result of the work, we showed that the hydrogenation inflow could reduce the palladium consumption by a factor of 10 compared to batch processing. It is important to obtain chemicals in the lab, but every process must be scaled up to production, so I participated in developing a new reactor that enables any chemistry to be converted into flow, scalable and multi-purpose. Our reactor provides mixing independently from the fluid flow rates. It resembles a series of continuously stirred tank reactors, yet it is much simpler and with excellent control over the reaction. Finally guys, I just want to summarize the things I've said to you and give you some more advice on how you can get a job. To get a job, you must separate yourself from the crowd. You need to be prepared and you must show it. Read what the company does, come up with a few ideas, talk about experience through relevant projects, modules or volunteering work you've done. More importantly, that you can learn and your enthusiasm. Make sure you only apply for the jobs you are passionate about because if it's not, the likelihood of getting the job is low. Or be selective and spend some more time on each application. I've only applied for a few jobs properly and on each one of them, I spent about a day or two. The chances to get to the next stage is so much higher because the person who reads it can clearly see the effort, time that you put in. If you're not selected, don't get disappointed. Think where you could have gone wrong, learn from your mistakes and continue. It might have been simply a bad luck. My internship was partly funded by the Royal Society of Chemistry's graduate internship grant. If you are searching for an internship, you can browse on the Chemistry World Jobs page or directly contact small or medium-sized companies. They may be able to qualify for the Enterprise Plus scheme and hopefully offer you the internship. Make sure you utilize your time and get the most out of it. If they see you working hard and willing to improve, there are no reason they will let you go. I hope my advice has helped you and good luck in finding your job. Set your target industry or work, show your interest and be prepared. Finally, don't give up.